Would you play a video game if you knew you could lose your life if you lost? The co-founder of Oculus, Palmer Lucky, says he's fascinated with linking your real life to your virtual avatar. So he went ahead and designed a VR headset that would kill the player instantly if they died in a game. Lucky, who sold Oculus to Meta for $2 billion in 2014, described his invention in a blog post titled, If you die in the game, you die in real life. The deadly VR headset contains three explosive charges embedded just above the forehead. When the screen flashes red, indicating the player died in the game, the charges are detonated, destroying the brain in real life. Lucky says the inspiration came from Sword Art Online, a series of Japanese novels that have been turned into video games and anime. In Sword Art Online, there's a headset known as Nerve Gear that immerses the player in a virtual world and kills them if they lose. In the fictional version, the headset kills via microwaves that fry the brain. Lucky says his explosive headset is still a work in progress and is just a piece of office art for now. But he also predicts this won't be the last killer VR device you hear about. And it certainly brings new meaning to those two dreaded words. Game over. Scientists just found the closest black hole to Earth yet. It's about 1600 light years away and it's 10 times bigger than our sun. NASA says black holes are places in space where gravity pulls so much that even light cannot get out. They're invisible to the naked eye and it takes special tools and telescopes to find them. The researchers were able to spot this one because they noticed a companion star orbiting it. They began to look at data from the Gaia spacecraft that's been in orbit since 2013. Gaia has been mapping the movements of stars, monitoring up to 2 billion so far. With that data and the use of some powerful ground telescopes, they were able to pinpoint the black hole's location. Like most black holes, this one was probably caused by the death of a star that could have been 20 times the size of our sun. It's three times closer to Earth than the previous record holder, still far enough away for us to safely observe from Earth. For now, anyway. This is what artificial intelligence thinks New York City could look like by 2100 if the worst climate change scenario comes to pass. Midjourney, an AI tool, made photo predictions of what cities in the future could look like if nothing is done to mitigate the effects of climate change. For instance, this is Paris. And this is what Los Angeles could look like in less than 80 years. They're all hypotheticals, clearly but the researchers behind them hope they will help people visualize the urgency of the climate crisis. The images come just in time for COP27. Right now, world leaders are meeting in Egypt to talk about the future of climate action. Experts are saying that countries are nowhere close to meeting targets and commitments. And these photos could serve as a warning of what's to come. Do you think the AI-generated photos are an accurate prediction of our cities by 2100? That's it for this episode of Technality. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the future.